Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. What are farmers doing to feed the planet? They're using Quadtrek technology, soil management, and planting systems from Case IH to foster a better growing environment that maximizes yield potential. Visit CaseIH.com to be ready. As you plan for corn harvest in 2014, one of the biggest things you should consider is not the grain going into the bin, but what you're leaving in the field. I'll explain in today's Iron Talk. After the combine runs through a nice field of corn, it's easy to focus on how much grain just came off the field. After all, that's your paycheck, and you've waited for it for nearly a year. However, that pass through the field with your combine is completely setting up your crop success for 2015 at the same time, and this deserves equal consideration. How you manage your residue is of the utmost importance. On our farm, we switched to no-till about 20 years ago, and then to strip-till about 10 years ago. One of the biggest reasons we got out of no-till was that we didn't do a good enough job with residue management, and we hear the same complaint from guys that are in no-till right now. However, we've found a solution on our farm with a chopping corn head. By running all the residue through the chopping corn head before the combine runs it over, we've not only sized the residue down to small chunks, often four inches or smaller, but we've completely eliminated any long stalks laying across our rows in the spring. We've also greatly sped up the breakdown of that residue by exposing more of the core of the stalk. We also manage our residue by leaving the root mass intact and in place and maintaining about 12 inch to maybe an 18 inch tall stalk. This way, when the winds blow, we hold our leaves and stalks in the field rather than having them blow away as we've seen happen in fields where the chopping head was run all the way to the ground. We had always heard that leaving stalks as tall as possible was the way to make reduced tillage work. We found that not to be the case at all on our farm. When we used the regular combine head and left three to four foot tall stalks, they all fell over in the field with snowfall in the winter. Then they were wet and difficult to slice through in the spring. On our farm, a chopping corn head has delivered so much value in providing an even distribution of residue that breaks down quickly, we don't foresee a reason we'll ever switch back to the old way of doing things. Even residue distribution is key to even emergence next year. Consider a chopping corn head for your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show. <laughs> 